just so, just to get this out of the way while we're loading in, things are going to look a little bit different because I did have to go back in because of the issue where I couldn't save last time at the end of the last episode, along with the fact that the autosave seems to have broken at the same time. I worked my way back to where, roughly where I was at the end of the last episode. So things, a couple things are different here and there, like I think Lazelle now has a great axe that she's using. And actually, that's about it, really, because I mean, some ish, some different items here and there, because some of the loot is randomized, of course, but... Overall, <clears throat> I'm back where I was. And really, not a lot has changed. Like I said, Lazelle's now using a great axe instead of a... Long sword. There we go. I'm just taking a little longer to keep loading it. There. So yeah, like I said, this is roughly where I ended last time. A couple of differences, like I said, with Lazelle, although she's currently using a bow. There we go. Now she's got a great axe equipped. I like how Lazelle and Shadowheart are in, were in T-pose, but Astarian and I were just sitting there. players are you waiting on? This is single player. Like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and take a quick break. 
hopefully that fixes the visual glitches with the with the map and everything. Chucky, come closer. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and go along with it. Dry skin, clear eyes. You do not suffer. You flourish. Disturbing. We should feel them now. Yeah. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. On the Garth, the ship, there was a voice. It promised to change us. The voice, the promise, they are manipulations. They are obscene. Reject them! Wise words. I'm almost impressed. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Well, actually, I think it is, kind of. Also, yeah, I just noticed she's got, like, uh, cat's eyes. Alright, next order of business after we can't... Okay, good, that did, fi that did fix the issue. Also, uh, actually, there was other. There's one other thing that did happen different uh, in the fight with the undead. That with the uh, the mum of like the undead priests and the fighter and all that that leads into talking to the mummy lord from last time. Uh, that I did actually have a successful religion roll that identified the statue in there as being a statue of Jergal, who is an old Ferunian deity known as the last scribe basically he was the he didn't he wasn't a major god i don't think but his basic his whole basic stick was that he was the one who would uh his job was to basically record the one those who were dot dead or dying or on their way to death what i'm doing right now is i'm going along to recruit the rest of the party i cannot recruit will just yet i don't think he's the other he's the other warlock but this should get us Gale, who is a fucking prick. Also a wizard. There he is. Gale, like I said, he's he's a wizard. He's also kind of a prick. You're alive. That's unexpected. Same to you. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tadpole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? There's a gust of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. It'll have to wait. The primary need is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Definitely. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as ceramorphosis? It is to be avoided. No shit. I assume you're no accomplished healer either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. 
I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. They have ideas. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? No. Are you certain? A wizard is a mighty weapon to have in your arsenal. I'm certain. You're quite significant loss. He, you can't actually recruit. I actually I'm not sure if that recruits him and just puts him in the but, frankly, I don't actually need a wizard, and I think his specialty is... I don't think his specialty is super useful, especially not in combat. Actually, I guess it is technically useful, but... Like, I think he's an abjuration specialist. Which is funny, because I was watching a uh, Critical Role recently where Matt Mercer forgot in... He know, like, he was talking... Like, he mentioned something had a whiff of abjuration magic about it. But he kind of forgot what abjuration is. I, it's, I know it's... I'm not ragging on him too much, it's just kind of funny. But basically, Abjuration is the specialty of magic dealing with manipulation of the weave to create protection. So, like, uh, I think Shadowheart might have one. Where is it? Yeah, Resistance, that'll work. Like it says, magically bolster creatures defensive, receive plus 4 d4 bonus to saving throws. Abjuration magic is all about protection, so, like, mage armor. Circles of protection, that kind of stuff is all about abjurate. Is all abjuration is about. It's how to stop the enemy from hurting you through the use of applied magics. Okay, there's a big fight coming up up here. But be careful. This is also where we get int introduced, at least visually, to Will. Alright, and... We're gonna loot the corpses of everybody that gets killed here, because a lot of them are going to. This is a big fight with some goblins. I'm not going to save Scum, by the way, because, like, there's a... There's a couple of skill checks coming up that I could save scum on, but I'm not going to. It's actually better to start back here. For me. That's Zevlor. Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? That's one class I'm really looking for. One thing Please I don't get die. is why does he pull the why does he pull that arrow out of the shield? I mean, that's a thick ass arrow too. That's a There's a Lorg. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to them adding in the druid Fine, class, because I love Druids are easily my favorite class in D. &D. Druids and uh, second would probably be something like the sorcerer. Yes, I know the audio is a little decent because of lag. That guy gets shot in the gut and again. 
They, props to them for trying to hold the gate, but there's no way three people are going to hold an actual siege quality gate up. Not unless you're like giant strength. And then the goblins attacked. Oh, there's a goblin lady over there on the right. Luckily, there's a party of professionals that are here. Or, not really professionals, because I don't know if anybody's paying me to do this stuff yet. Oh, I made a mistake already with how, with how our, where our guy is. Alright, so, I have a stallion go up here. Because, archery from a high ground. I see a 50-50 shot of doing this, so... It worked! Alright, let's get you all the way up here so we have real high ground. Did that guy die? No. Uh, take on the Booyah, because that's a spellcaster. And nearly dead from one shot. Alright, Astarian, you're just gonna stay up there. That's his entire job, is stay up there. Oh crap, the bugbear's on me. And I'm mostly dead. I did that mostly so I could get high ground advantage for my guy, too. And now I rain Eldritch Death from, high, from on high. So he only took five damage. That's not really great. Okay, Lizelle's up as well. All right, Lizelle, your job. Actually, have a have a caustic bulb that I had never used before. This goblin tracker over here, I need to take that that bow off them. Ha! Huh. Menacing attack. Make That's way for the blade of frontier. Yeah, that guy right there, Will, he is a warlock. And also he does the rally thing, so. There is no escaping the blade. Okay, so that's a superiority ability. <laughs> Uh oh. He shouldn't be able to reach me. Okay, yeah, he's also attacking from the high ground, or from the low ground, so. Never run away from somebody in melee. Okay, that. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say the Booyah. I thought the Booyah got the rally effect as well, but no. Goblin Tracker is disengaging. And then attacking anyway. Disengage just means that you're not going to be affected by, uh, like, attacks of opportunity. Okay, so acid explodes! I didn't know that. No, we're not going to do that. Alright, Astarian's up. That is not good. I needed you to hit. I had disadvantage on that is because he is prone. That kills the boss. Is 
is an action surge. Alright, so it's really just the bugbear and that tracker. Who is now very dead. Oh, right, I forgot about the brawler. Who just cannot stay up here for. And also the war. Because the bugbear, the brawler, and the war are the ones that are the enemies that are left. There's the bugbear dead. I leave Shadowheart to go. Come on, Astarian. Okay, two of my people just can't hit for love or money. Flank the wall. And...